ladies and gentlemen, Dominic. some rocket science in five minutes. Solution focused leadership in action. I would like to invite you to jump with me into a rocket and fly into the orbit. And just look from above and look at this beautiful solution focused leadership world that's already happening and see what you can observe and try to describe, maybe come to a model, descriptive model of what solution focused leadership could be. If you had asked me about three years ago if I would ever do a scientific research project, I would have said no, never, ever. But with the support of um, two doctor doctors, <laughs> really great people who encouraged me to do that. I did a survey and different interviews to kind of look at this leadership world and try to find out what SF leadership could be. With the aim um, to have more SF leadership insight. I did not dare to write my real future perfect here, but maybe to have SF leadership as a dominant leadership style in organizations in the future. And to reach that, I did a solution-focused leadership research within the last around two years. We did group interviews, we did expert interviews, and from uh, February to April we did a solution-focused leadership survey. And it was amazing what we got back as a result. I will have little time here to show some aspects but I will do an open space later on for those who are interested to see or hear more or to share even. We did it with an online tool and the online tool was able to collect qualitative data and quantitative data. We had 15 countries, 57 participants from five continents and quite worldwide didn't have the Antarctis and did not have anyone from South America. But this will come as I talk to someone who lives in South America and believe that even in the Antarctis and in South America there is solution-focused leadership happening. Well, we had 11 questions. We tried to let people get us some feedback about their SFL understanding, about success stories, try to validate a model and find out what supports them to lead in this way. And we have a descriptive model so far, uh, SFL leadership behavior, a lot of success stories and also a lot of differences between SF coaching and SF leadership. And this is really interesting for me because before I thought SF coaching and SF leadership is really close together. But as I found out, there are relevant differences. We worked with pictures and this was the most chosen picture with this quote that really fits well. Skip the maze of problems to find new creative and simple ways. And what is SF leadership or how could we describe that? Well I got back I have 100 pages of success stories and leadership stories and in every success story SF leadership seems to be an ongoing interaction in between. Ongoing interaction in between. And this is my description of what I saw. 
How does this ongoing interaction take place? It takes place in between the leader and the employee, in between employees themselves, in between employees and stakeholders, leaders and stakeholders, and mostly with a focus on platform building, future perfect, on everything we know, discovering what works, to reach a desired outcome. Either better results, other behavior, or often to feel better in their leadership position. And what supports them is mostly behavior of others, supporting behavior of superiors, of employees, stakeholders, of clients maybe, kind of this interaction in between all those people. And three success stories I have for you to just think about within this short period of time. SF interactions with employees this is, I think, most common. There's one example how this could be talking to employees, one conversation at a time, interaction in between. Worthwhile meetings, we have heard about that too. How can we improve our meetings? And also, my favorite successor, success bell. A bell on the wall, ship bell, really a loud one. And employees ring the bell whenever they see a success of someone else or have an experience of success with a huge um, enthusiasm. We had around 70 people on the floor who rang the bell. It's a really good success story and much more, much less than coaching and much more than coaching. And we have a lot of more findings what well, SF leadership could be. We try to describe that and we'll have two articles that you can read if you want to and come to an open space later on. Or maybe you want to join my book project or would like to invite me to a workshop about SF leadership. I hope that with this model idea that might become more popular, we can start thinking about SF leadership in terms of interaction in between and not only in terms of leader SF leadership as SF coaching, because it's much more than that. Thank you. Thank you.